everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Psychic World for Sega Master System. We went through a fiery cave in round two, and we're now going to go through an icy cave for round three. I took care of the enemy at the very beginning, got some health, let's go. And there is another pickup for the weapon that we got at the, at the end of round two, this new ability. It's a fire bullet. We can use it to melt some ice, which will be nice. And if you could not knock me into the spikes, that'd be nice. These icicle floors, these little floors with the icicles at the bottom, they are breakaway, so you will have to be careful. But we're now on solid ground now. Let's go ahead, use the fire bullet to break the ice that is here, and destroy this guy before he can materialize. And I was able to use that spare piece of land to break my fall so I didn't land on the spikes. Now, we've got some pixels that are flashing blue and gray. Some of them are fuller than others. If you use the water bullet on them, you'll turn those into little ice platforms, which is very nice. Thankfully, in case we mess up on this area, we can always create a little fire ice bridge right here, but thankfully we won't have to. Also, this guy will give us a health power-up. And I want to be careful here, because this solid floor here is an ice floor. If you go slow on it, you will move slowly across it in one direction. If you move fast on it, you will be moving fast. If you hold the opposite direction and jump, you'll be able to travel in the opposite direction on that floor when you land. That has ice physics and you will be moving automatically. Thankfully, I knew what to do and I was able to stop myself. Now here is a brand new power-up down here, but first, let's pick up this thing, so that way we destroy the enemies without having to fight them. And that is a lightning bullet. Not very powerful now, but it will be soon enough. Now, I'm gonna drop down here. Don't really need the fire bullet there for anything. And let's make our way over to the ladder. And jump. Shoot at the wall, you'll hit this thing. And you want to be careful because it is possible to land the spikes and accidentally die. You want to make sure you hold the button there. Now if you fall down the spikes at the end, that's okay. You can get back to the ladder and pull yourself up. And we can go over here and shoot at the platform to take care of all these guys. There's a shield power-up, but we're not exactly going to need it. We can go ahead and shoot at this thing. And we can shoot at this thing, and then go up this ladder. I'm going to use the shield first, and then make my way up here with the, sh the water bullet. Now, I like this part, because you'll be, you'll be making a nice bridge using the water bullet. You're going to have to be patient. You don't want to go too fast while doing this. And you want to stand close to the edge of the ice platforms you create. So that way, this isn't a pain to do. And if I could not do that, that would be even better. One, that would be apply to both switching to the regular weapon on accident and falling off the edge, of course, and I want to crouch at times, so that way, the now fully powered water bullet can hit these blocks that are below me, these little tiles that are below me, with the water bullet, so that way I can freeze them, and then when I'm done with the fire bullet, I'll have a place where I can walk to next. Simple as that. Some people may not like this because of the patience that this may entail. Your mileage may vary. I enjoyed this. But yeah, that part with the breakaway floors above the spikes, if you've messed that up at any point, 
you will be dying and you will have to continue. Thankfully, continues in this game are infinite. So we have that, and that's a very good thing. I don't really need that health power up. Though that would be nice. If you do need it, you can just drop all the way down near the end. You should be able to pick yourself up that way. Just be careful where you stand. You don't want to hit those spikes below that door there because those are spikes that will hurt you. And that's not exactly what I wanted. That's not exactly where I wanted to stand. I do want to use the shield before I go in here, though. Because this guy will attack us. Thankfully, once we get away from the wall, we can get him to reappear over here. We can power up the fire bullet. We can refill our ESP. The more we have, the more we can use certain abilities, such as the shield and the ability to return to the very beginning of the stage. And other things that we may need, such as the ability to destroy enemies just like that. I'm going to destroy both of you, so that way neither of you give me any problems. And we are now back to full health. I don't need the... There's nearly no reason for me to get the fire bullet power up here, thankfully. And I can just press up to go up here and climb up the ladder some more. I'd hate to fall here, but thankfully, I know what I'm doing. If you fall, you will have to destroy those ice blocks with the fire bullets. And I want to switch to the regular weapon. Actually, no. I want to switch to that. Destroy you. Grab that. Boom. Use the fire bullets. To get over here. Now there are some things that we can do. We can use the fire bullet to get over here. This stuff is optional, but it's very easy to do, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. We can destroy that enemy with the fire bullet. It's all right. And we can now fully power up this fire bullet. We should be able to shoot three now. Oh, actually, no. We just create two big ones. Okay. And if I could leap to that, that'd be great. Yeah, sometimes... And I messed that up. I could have gotten another thing for the fire bullet, but that, as well as a ESP refill, but that's okay. In the meantime, we do want to go over here. We don't need to go down the ladder because we don't need anything that's down there. Though I do want to go down just a little bit. And for this next area, I want to make my way to the top first because you will be hitting some ice floors. And I believe that probably gave me another lightning bullet. No, I don't want to go over there. I want to stay up top. Now, that didn't give me another far lightning bullet. Oh, well. We do have a new enemy here, these little squids that jump up and down. They don't fire anything. You have those blue things that are moving back and forth that we've seen already. We've seen those green things that shoot bullets as, as they move back and forth. And we've seen the rocks, though I've never actually had to fight them for whatever reason. There's never really been a reason why I had to fight them. And I do want to keep jumping over here. And I want to time this jump carefully, and I did. And after some jumping on that solid ice floor, we can go to the right... You want to jump over to that wall. You will stand in place on that solid wall. From here, you want to shoot down this first guy. As long as we're standing and jumping straight up, we should be able to do this. And I'm going to use the screen clear attack to get rid of all the enemies over here. Now, in case I fall at any point, 
I can just destroy those. Ah. There we go. Not the thing I needed, but the thing I definitely... Not the thing... Well, uh, well, definitely not the thing I wanted, but definitely the thing I needed. Right there. Especially all that da after all that damage I took off of those things. That was lame. And we got another ice floor there. I do not like those green guys very much. And if these things can get out of the way... There we go. Now... We want to use our water bullet here to create a means of finding these guys. Having some space area to stand on. And thankfully, we can refill our health here. So the game is being very generous with health at this point. We need to break these blocks. These little ice blocks that are here. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to get up here. Just create a nice little ice platform here. Let's say I create a nice little ice... Well, actually, we can just jump up here. We don't need to create the ice platform. And... I do want to get grab the shield. And... Equip the water bullet... For when I go over here. And I need to be very careful. I did not want to do that game. Game. There we go. You want to create those ice platforms with the water bullet. And you want to have the shield activated at all times. And you want to shoot that dragon in the head. You don't want to stand on the spikes that are below it, or else you're going to be taking damage. And you also want to make sure to watch out for that breath, because it will melt the ice blocks. But if you can find a place where you can stand and really wail on the dragon's head, like I just did, you'll be able to take it down in no time. And we have a brand new ability that we can use in the fourth round. Round four is the ruins. And there are apparently a lot of ghosts. I think those are ghosts. But we will be going through round four in the next video. Join me next time where we go through these ruins and hopefully try to survive as best as we can. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching.